Hello, my name is Sally. I'm one of the makeup artists working with Look Fabulous Forever, which is skincare, makeup and hair care specifically designed for older faces. Today I want to show you how you can use your makeup items and skincare items a little bit innovatively and how you can mix and match products, mix them, blend them, um, to, to, to basically create slightly different effects. So it's just a few little different makeup tips, makeup hacks that you might find helpful when you're playing and using your own makeup. So the first thing I'm going to do is clip my hair back. So what I have done this morning so far is I have used my beautiful Smooth the Face Day Cream. Um, I've also just put a little bit of mascara on and that is it. Um, uh, other than that, I've done nothing else. The first thing I want to do is to talk to you about mixing primers, moisturizers, foundations, because there's a little bit of confusion here and there's actually a few things that you can do. What I love to do, and you've probably seen me do this many, many times on videos, or you might've heard me talking about it. I like to mix and to make my own perfect blend using the primer, the continuous cover foundation, and the Light Look Beauty Balm, all three together. And that's what I love to do for my sort of go-to look. However, there are different things you can do. You can take a little bit of your day cream, take a little bit on my hand, just like so, and you can mix your continuous cover foundation like that. and just blend the two together, which creates a slightly lighter, in terms of texture, effect on the continuous cover foundation. Some ladies like to do that, and you can do that. I'm not going to demonstrate that today, but it's certainly something that if you want a slightly lighter coverage, but you don't have the Light Look Beauty Balm, you can do. So a little bit of day cream mixed with your continuous cover foundation. What I am going to do, is slightly different. So I'm going to use my Smooth Light Silk Face Prime as normal. I always love to put it on first. So this is after using my moisturizer. So the other one would be, you would use your moisturizer with your foundation. So I've used my moisturizer already today. But what I love to do is to mix my continuous cover, I'm, today I'm using continuous cover foundation in shade two. So you can, if you just have the foundation, you can mix that with the primer and put that on. Or what I suggested earlier is I love to use a little bit of Light Look Beauty Balm to get for me the perfect blend. So I will actually put a little bit of Light Look Beauty Balm number one. If I'm using continuous cover foundation number two, I like to use Light Look Beauty Balm number one and the primer. And then I basically mix them up on my hand, using my hand as a palette to get, for me, the perfect texture and coverage. And the beauty of that is if you've got a little bit more colour, you might add a little bit more of the Light Look Beauty Balm. And if you want a little bit more coverage, you put a little bit more of the Continuous Cover Foundation and a little bit less of the Light Look Beauty Balm, which is a lighter product. So you can alternate the proportions of the Light Look Beauty Balm, the Continuous Cover Foundation, to get the correct colour, perfectly blended, and the correct texture. Okay, so the next product I'm going to talk about is the concealer. So I love the Cover to Cover concealer. It's a creamy concealer. You can use it just straight, which is what I always do. Um, however, there's a little, another little makeup hack, um, which I can show you. The, the lovely um, Night Revive Eye Cream. If you just want a slightly lighter 
texture in your concealer, maybe for the summer months, what you can do is take a tiny bit of your eye cream and mix it with your concealer for under the eyes. So let me demonstrate that. Taking a tiny little bit of the eye cream, just popped it on my hand. And what I'm going to do now is to take a little bit of concealer and just put that on my hand and just mix the two together with my concealer brush number four. And then just use it as normal. Just stippling it into the areas where there is a little bit of darkness and then using my ring finger. And that just gives you a slightly, slightly lighter coverage with the concealer if that's what you want. The eye cream is also very nourishing and is great for, for dark circles, which is what we're trying to cover here anyway. If you've run out of instant bright highlighter, which is my wonderful favorite highlighting product that look fabulous forever do, you can also use the concealer just underneath the highest part of your brow where you would put your instant bright highlight, just here, just to create that little bit of light. I'd probably use a slightly lighter shadow, lighter color, so I usually use the number two, but for this purpose, I would probably use the number one. Um, I also sometimes like to put it as a highlighter around my lips, just to bring that slightly forward to, to make my lips look a bit more pouty. So that's another thing you can do with concealer. The No Shimmer eyeshades are also really versatile and can be mixed and matched and used not only as eyeshades, but you can use them for your brows. So I'm going to today use the lovely No Shimmer eyeshade in taupe. This is a great versatile colour and I'm going to put it all over my lids to create a wash of colour. This suits absolutely everybody. I'm using my eyeshadow blender brush number seven to put this on. It's a lovely soft and fluffy brush. <clears throat> if you've got blue eyes, it just makes the blue stand out more if you're using taupe, but you can use it on all color eyes. It will look good, green eyes, brown eyes but it makes the contrast of blue eyes work really well. If you struggle trying to find the place to put this, another little mix and match, it's not strictly a product, but eyelash curlers, not only can you use eyelash curlers for curling your lashes, but you can use them just to place so that you know where you're going to put. So if you just place it into your eye, you'll find your crease. So, just like that. You can also use a cotton pad, but as we're using products here, I thought I'd just show you this little trick because it just allows you to easily find the right place to lift your eye slightly by putting the eyeshadow a little bit higher than your socket line, particularly if you've got slightly hooded eyes. It's a good trick. So we've used the taupe all over as a wash of colour. What you can now also do is to use it. I'm actually going to use a lip brush this time. This is the Lip and Shadow Brush number five. And I'm going to put the taupe just into my brows. So if you don't have the Bring Back Brow, which is the sort of paint, which is fantastic, this can do the job as well. You can use this brush, or if you've got the wedge brush, you can use the wedge brush. That will do the job as well, just to go over your brows. So you can use the taupe. If you've got gray color brows, you can use soft gray or you can use charcoal. Um, I've been known also to use cocoa. 
so that just has that effect of going over your brows. If you do use bring back brow, you could still go over it if you want to with a little bit of taupe. So another really good way to mix and match with your no shimmer eye shades. The fact that they haven't got shimmer in allows you to use them in your brows and in other places. We've got beautiful soft eyeliners and I'm going to just demonstrate using the colour Warm Taupe. I'm going to use the colour Warm Taupe and I'm going to put that just onto the top of my lashes here and just underneath. I wanted to demonstrate Warm Taupe because this product, if again you don't like the Bring Back Brow or you don't have the Bring Back Brow, you find it difficult or for any reason and you want to prefer a pencil, you can use this for your brows just to go over. I won't do it because I've already used the other one, but Warm Taupe is a really good colour. Soft grey is also a good colour if you've got sort of grey brows. Um, if you've got really dark brows, you could use dark brown as well. So, but this one's a good one. So again, very versatile. Um, won't be waterproof like the Bring Back Brow, but you can use it if you want, if you prefer to have a pencil, which is nice and soft and easy to use for your brows. Going back to the eye shades, the No Shimmer Eye Shades, you can also use those on their own as eyeliners. Um, and again, with your wedge brush number eight, I'm just gonna take the taupe and just go over. If you want to be bolder, then use a darker color like chocolate or charcoal or aubergine or midnight blue, just to go either over your soft eyeliner or instead of. So these No Shimmer eye shades are so versatile. You can use them, mix and match them for all sorts of things. The other thing I love to mix and match is blusher. So the beautiful Real Radiance blushes come in a big range of colors. Um, but as a makeup artist, I quite like to mix colors sometimes. And my personal favorites for mixing are, for me, Peach Cream and Desert Rose. And you can either mix up your perfect color on your hand, or I quite like to do it actually on my cheeks. So what I might do is start with the Peach Cream, the lighter one. And just put that on with my finger and then I might think mm, no, I need a little bit more so I'm going to take a little bit of Desert Rose and just layer it and mix it and blend it so just popping that on which then just gives you a slightly unique colour and then I'm going to take my blusher brush number two and just blend them together now, another really versatile product is the Enduring Summer Bronze, the bronzer. This product I love for all sorts of reasons. Um, again, I love to take my blusher brush and just sweep it over my eyes, which just adds that little bit of warmth and a bit of colour. And if you don't want to use one of the no shimmer eyeshades and you really haven't got time, the bronzer is a great way of just giving you a tiny bit of colour on your lids. You can also, if you're warm, you can put a little bit actually over your blusher just to add a little bit more colour. Or of course you can use it as it's meant to be used, as a bronzer. Getting the sun-kissed effects. Because it's so gentle, you can also use it as a contour powder. So just a little bit on the jawline adds that little bit of sharpness um, for the jawline. And I like to use it on my neck as well, so I don't have a floating face. And finally, lipstick. 
So if you've got your perfect lipstick colour from Look Fabulous Forever, but you want it to look a little bit more glossy, maybe for an evening look, um, then a trick is to, to, to use your lipstick and then to add clear gloss over the top. Or you can even mix the two together on your hands and sort of make a slightly glossier lipstick. I personally prefer to do the lipstick and then to put gloss over the top. So I will demonstrate that with the beautiful shade in Amber. So that's Amber on its own. What I'm now going to do is get my gorgeous gloss, gloss lip shine in clear. Now if I was to put it directly onto my lips it will change the colour of the wand and when I put the wand back in it will mean that my clear colour will change to slightly more amberish um, which you might want, you might want to create your own lipstick um, lip gloss colour but I personally like to keep it clear so what I do is to take some out onto the back of my hand like so, and then I just take my lip brush, number five, and you can see that, that you've now got a much glossier effect to your lipstick, and you can obviously do that with any, any colour. You can also play around with the, the coloured lip glosses too um, and mix and match those with your lipstick to create a blend that's perfect for you. And likewise with the lip liners, if you use a lip liner underneath the lipstick, you will potentially get a slightly different, you can mix and match to create a slightly different effect to your lipstick. So if you've got a colour that is maybe not quite strong enough, if you wear a slightly stronger lip liner underneath, one of our soft lip liners, and, and fill it in completely, and then put your lipstick over the top, you'll find your lipstick is a little bit darker. Um, and conversely, if you've got a lipstick you think is a bit too dark, wearing a slightly lighter lip liner underneath, filling that in, then putting your lipstick on, will tone down that lipstick slightly too. So you can mix and match with your lipsticks, your lip glosses, and your soft lip liners. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, it's really just using your products effectively and slightly, in a slightly innovative way if you want to, um, and knowing how you can blend things, how things work together in synergy um, to create maybe slightly different effects um, that you might want. Maybe at different times of the year or different times of day, you might want a slightly different effect with your makeup products. I hope you have gleaned a few tips from today's video and if you've got any of your own tips of things that you have done with your products to make them work maybe slightly differently for you then we'd love to hear from you in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.